What's up Xbox Series S fan? Welcome to today's video where we are playing Fortnite Battle Royale. We're jumping into another game of Team Rumble to show you exactly what Fortnite really looks like on the Series S. And the reason I say really is I've realised that a whole bunch of my earlier videos, YouTube has compressed them so, so much that it does not look what it really looks like in game. You do not see how good this actually looks. So I've now figured that out. We're rendering this at higher resolution for you all. So this should give you a much better idea at how Fortnite actually runs. So as ever, you can see we've still got the mega, mega fast load times, which is so dope. Absolutely love it. And we're going to jump into a game of Team Rumble, try and get some eliminations, have a bit of fun, chillax, and all that jazz. And I just missed, that was terrible. Okay, hey, Gold Wolverine. Boom. So let's do this right now. And hopefully I can uh, mute everyone else that's in here because it's super annoying. Here we go. And yeah, check it. Look how glorious this game looks on a £250 console. What the heck? Look at the clouds. It's insane. Look at the distance, how far you can see it really clearly. I'm going to jump out just now and just hover about here in the sky until I see where the storm is going to be. Oh, miles away. Okay, let's go. Black Widow in the house. And yes, we're nearing the end of this season of Fortnite. Let me know what you think about it down below. And most importantly, let me know how you feel this runs on the Xbox Series S. I know a lot of you out there on the channel play Fortnite, so I could believe that I'd only done one gameplay video of Fortnite running on the Series S. I thought I need to get another one, but I'm so busy trying to churn out as many videos for all of you as I can. And the PlayStation 5 has just arrived as well, so I need to get that unboxed and get that set up. And let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see that running on or would you like to see Fortnite running on the PlayStation 5? That'd be pretty cool. Just gonna go over here and check something out. So. I don't even know if this is like slight ray tracing we've got on here with this because usually you cannot see your reflections in any of the windows here. Um, never noticed that before. That is definitely new. More windows? Yeah, I'm really not sure. It might be, but anyway, pretty cool. Let's uh, try and get some weapons. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just down this shield and then we'll head on over to the storm zone and hopefully get a couple of eliminations. We've asked of some bad guys here. Black Widow, no messing about. Get our team the dub here for this uh, gameplay video, which is really just a demonstration of how Fortnite runs on the Xbox Series S. But obviously, you know, we want to get some entertaining gameplay, and there's a sniper rifle, so you better, whoa, you better believe I'll be sniping some people with this beast. And I need to change the control settings, it's really annoying that I need to hold it. Oh, wait a minute, chest in here, we missed. But yeah, it does run fantastic. It literally, the load times are insane. You can see we've got nice, buttery, smooth, 60 FPS gameplay. And I'm playing this on a 1080p gaming monitor. So if you are playing on a similar kind of monitor, it'll be absolutely fantastic. Also, yeah, that's definitely new. I've never seen it do that before. What the heck? Oh, shot's been fired. Also, a lot of you are asking about playing at higher game rates. I have no idea if I can do that yet. I do not have a high refresh rate monitor. Remember, everyone, this is a service announcement for you all. Everyone is, going, is getting so um, hyped up about saying, oh, playing games at 120 FPS, play 120 FPS. You cannot play games at 120 FPS if you do not have a high refresh rate gaming monitor or TV. So please keep that in mind. I think so many people are going to be disappointed thinking, oh, I've got a PlayStation 5, I can play 
at 4K, uh, 120 FPS on your normal tele or monitor? No, you can't. You will need a HDMI 2.1 compliant monitor or TV. And they're pretty expensive and not a lot of them are out. I'm holding off to get one of them hopefully soon. Um, when hopefully they drop in price a little bit. Um, so I would advise you do not worry about that right now. If you have a 1440p gaming monitor for the Xbox Series S for example, you could play at higher refresh rate some games. What the heck is a Skybase? Can you hear someone? Oh, I thought they were going to keep moving there. Ah! Not good. Come on. Come on. Oh, saw that coming, saw that coming. Let's go down here, let's dance. Ooh, how cool is this glider look? Water oh, looks amazing as well, check the reflection. Love it. Woo! Don't try and rush me like that, fool. But yeah, I need to get used to playing on the Xbox uh, controller here. I'm used to my DualShock 4, which has got the back button attachment. So it has, um, like, paddle buttons at the back, which makes a big difference to this game. Oh, nice one, team. I thought, I thought you got wiped out there. Can I reload this? Come on! Whoa, where did they go? Is they legit bail right out of here? Whoa! Oh, you're there! Oh, son of a gun! They're right behind me, I didn't even realise! I'm too busy chatting about high refresh rate monitors and stuff like that for y'all. Look at that, right back into the game right away as well. Hardly any load time. I love it. Come on. Come on, you just stop there a minute. This thing couldn't come happening for me today. Such a great game on Series S, it runs so well. Really cannot complain. I think it's good about Team Rumble right now, by the way, for all these uh, extra XP challenges. You get loads for your teammates completing challenges for you, which is cool. Oh, Lachlan. Oh, come on. He got blasted in the face there with the combat shot and he ate it like a Tic Tac. What the heck? Jetpack. 
Yeah! Oh no. Thank goodness glad I read the boys on here. Would he get melted there? What? Whoa, I just get melted there. Change my sensitivity, it's way too low here. God damn it! So annoying. Oh. Stay back. So you get Tony Stark. That building's so slow, I need to change the sensitivity on this. See this jetpack's handy, but not that handy. Come on. Oh. Oh, jeez, right. We need to try and change the sense of it here. What the heck is going on? No! I really have no idea what the heck I normally play on. Oh! Man, I'm so... 
so we're actually one shot. Oh! Shot out the sky! Just like a shooting star! Okay, so look at that bit of building going on here. And uh, this is just running super smooth. I'm loving it. Loving it. Great little console if you're thinking about getting a Xbox Series S. Do yourself a favour and do it. Pick it up. Whoa! Jeez, I don't even saw them there. Not paying attention. Get down. The goals went down to 85. No! Yeah! And we got that final one. Oh, where'd that dude go right? We need to celebrate. Doom! Jetpack looks ridiculous. Anyways, that has just been a quick gameplay to show you how Fortnite really runs on the Xbox Series S because for, uh, because YouTube has been compressing all my videos so this one should be super clear for you all and you can get an idea of how it runs. If there's any other Fortnite game mode you want me to try, I will jump in maybe just a normal battle royale to show you how that runs. Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe for all things Series S and Fortnite coming your way on the channel. We'll see you on the next one.